So let's look at the at a digital transmitter. Obviously still quite abstract, so we are only going in the first proper lecture into this in greater detail. So let's just draw this here again. So we had the digital signal here first, and, um, and then we need some kind of box which turns this here into, into RF. And the RF has um, usually the characteristic that it has a certain carrier frequency here. So if we call this here RF of T and T, so then this looks probably something like this. And in the frequency domain, so if we call this here RF of F, and this is our frequency, then this will look like this, that we have here a certain a certain bandwidth. So we need to transform our binary sequence here into this band limited signal here ultimately. So this magic box, this question mark needs to do all that. So we now need to refine this box here and have a look what's inside. Okay, so let's um, refine the digital transmitter. Refine the transmitter. So we have got now our still our digital data here, which is in bits, bytes, but always some kind of binary data, bits, bytes, binary data. So now the idea is to turn this here into unique waveforms with a certain clock. And this one is called here so-called the pulse modulator. So the pulse modulator turns this here into a signal which looks in the frequency domain like this here. So if we have the signal here, then this looks like this. So that's basically a low-pass filtered signal. Low-pass filtered signal. And then after that, we have a so-called band pass modulator and then this turns it into a band pass signal here. So at this point here we have if this is here again frequency and this is here our signal which is coming out here then then this will look like this what we're expecting and we can send this here out then to our aerial and um, turns into RF energy. And so and so we see we have got two steps here. And so this the important thing is that this pulse modulator here, just to put everything in this diagram and then we um, continue on these bits here, that this is here running at the so-called symbol clock. and with a period t. And here at this point, the output of this pulse modulator, these are so-called symbols. Yeah, they can be also complex. But crucial that this is a low-pass filtered signal, which is sort of like um, obviously quantized because it's still a digital system 
and then this is uh, modulated here with the carrier frequency and then this is here generated this band pass filtered signal. So as next step now we need to look at the definition what is actually meant with symbol. So what is a symbol? 